Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the match preview Everton versus Doncaster Rovers in the EFL Cup round two. It is. It's this is the traditional start of the season for Everton. Well, depending on how it goes. But yeah. Yeah, forget the other the other then games are gone. History. It's They're not in them games. The, the fans of the history books then. Who cares? Who cares about them games? They are gone. This is the big one. This is how we start the season. Very much like we started the season last year. By Against playing, Doncaster. Playing Doncaster. And Beto turning up. Looking like a £100 million player. For one game only. I just called the Sheffield United the following No, game. he was. He was. Um, yeah, this is... I, I suppose this has like become a game where traditionally anyone we bought in the summer... Gets a go. Gets a go. And um, you forget about all those youngsters and stuff. It's all about the new signers that you brought that you haven't had the bottle to play yet. So do you think this one will very much be the same? That he won't have the bottle to play them? He no, he'll, uh, oh. you haven't played them so far. No, oh, they'll play, yeah. They'll play. I imagine... Um, don't know where the big bag of it will play, but he might. Uh, but I imagine Roman Dixon will start. He, you know, he's done well. Spurs on Saturday for his Premier League debut. I imagine he'll start. I think Jake O'Brien will play. He's got to. Mm. He's got to get them in, get them games. Um, I think Lindstrom and Ndai will play. I think Beto will start. Harris and Armstrong, I think they're on the bench. I think that'll, that'll sort of be it. It'll be, be a mix. He can't make loads of changes, but I don't think Tarkovsky will play because he didn't look fit at Spurs. Give him a chance to make sure he's all right for Sappy. But, um, yeah, I imagine the likes of Ndai, Irabunum will be in because he's, he's just in anyway, isn't he? And, and it'll be Lindstrom, it'll be their opportunity. And, like I said, Roman Dixon, O'Brien. Yeah, I think I think there will be changes. I think it's, um, I think for us, as you said there, this is often the game that those players get a chance. And I think... Hopefully, be a decent crowd. You know, kids. Uh, I think it's like a fiver, isn't it? And it'll be like the last game before they go back to school. And this is one where a lot of people get to go to their first game. So you you want that excitement of those new players, and it's taking that you know the pressures removed from from it being a Premier League game and often lost the first couple of games. So I think you know there's an expectation, and hopefully. It's a chance for those players, for Ndai to impress, and, and die and die, whatever, to impress Lindstrom, to impress possibly Beto to again, you know, got a couple last week in the EFL Trophy. Mm -hmm. Can you do it in the EFL Cup? Mm -hmm. um, to possibly playing and and, and and get a couple of goals or whatever, or whatever. Do you know what I mean? Just just get this season going and ahead of Bournemouth, which is now you know will be. Not a massive game, but it's an important game that Everton will be fans will be expecting to win. And if they don't win, then then the alarm bells maybe start ringing. Last week of the the of uh, well the 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 window will have already shut by then, won't it? So I think for us, we just want to we just want to have our mood changed, don't we? A little bit and want to see these players and go, hey, actually he looks all right, and Jake O'Brien looks all right. Why isn't he in the team or? Is there an opportunity that he'll play on Saturday? So and and those little things hopefully we'll get into the manager and the manager will go, Oh actually, yeah, he does look all right, he might be ready, he can start from what I've seen so far from him. Well he'll want a reaction only. Spurs wasn't good enough, we know that. Wasn't it wasn't just a scoreline. There was just not a belief from the players, mm -hmm. it looked like like from the first whistle that they could be they could get anything out of a game. And I don't think that's oh, never healthy, regardless of whether you know you you sort of you don't you don't you realise going into the game it's gonna be difficult. Like Doncaster are gonna turn up a Goodison and won't just be like we've got no chance. No, here. of course they won't. And yeah, the three leagues below Everton. Yeah. You know, when we played them last season at their place, they were bottom of the whole football league. And they were a better side, yeah, certainly yeah. in the first half. Then we would they played much better football. Mm -hmm. And, again, and to be fair to them, stuff. to be fair to them, they proved that by the run they went on. They yeah, just, they had a great. They just missed out on getting promotion. They've done unbelievable they? after it, but what yeah. I mean is, no, no. When that's why it makes a mockery when people say these players can't play good football mm. when you've got bottom of League Two, passing yeah. it round and nothing. So they'll turn up a good and They want they'll have more of a, a a better outlook rather than whatever. Now that Spurs yeah. on Saturday, despite being in the same league, with players, you know. Uh, 
expensive players on big money. So Doncaster will turn up, roll the sleeves up and have a good go. And it's up to Everton if you want to use the Spurs analogy to, to be Spurs mm. and, and to put them to bed. And it's a great opportunity for Lindstrom. Great opportunity for Njai. Great opportunity for Jake O'Brien. Great opportunity for Beto. Roman Dixon to say to the manager, I'm ready. Mm. Give me give me games. You know, and okay, the manager look and go. Doncaster and Bournemouth are a different thing, but all you can do is when you get that shirt on, go out and impress. That's mm. all you can do. Go out and keep being the 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 little you know annoying mosquito on a manager manager's ear mm. by going. Don't do mosquitoes go for it? Anyway, uh, you know, be that thing of I'm here. You know, I want to play. I deserve a go. You're the lad you've got in my position. Doesn't score goals or doesn't create goals or. Well, let you know, Jake O'Brien, the defence has let in seven goals, mate, when I haven't been part of it. That kind of thing. Go in, do your job and impress. And us as fans, I think there'll be a, a decent crowd there because for a lot of people, this is an opportunity to get into Goodison. You yeah. might not have too many more. Yeah. You know, the Premier League games are sold out weeks before. Absolutely. This is an opportunity. So the crowd should be over 30,000, I imagine. Yeah. Um, and that's a good opportunity to go and play and... and, and Produce and get a win and get that feel go factor going ahead of what is an important game against Bournemouth at the weekend. Yeah, I mean, listen, Bourne, uh, Doncaster have started the season okay, mm -hmm. won a couple. I uh, think they beat Salford in the last round. So again, like you just said, they'll be coming. Their fans will be coming. It's uh, you know coming over again. They might look at it and go, oh God, an opportunity to go to Goodison Park, an opportunity, mm -hmm. last chance to go to Goodison Park. Big, you know, it's the house historic moment for them. They'll be mm -hmm. thinking. You know, we might be... The we, Snowden Derby, being Snowden Derby. Well, why wouldn't you? Um, they might be thinking, opportunity here to to, to uh, beat Everton. Mm -hmm. Could be, you know, that historic moment. Yeah. Last team to beat Everton in the in the English EFL Cup. Cup yeah. They might be thinking that as well. So they'll make it a good atmosphere. And, and you know, I think just for us, we've got to... There's got, just got to be something a little bit different. And just to change our mood a little bit because I, I think if you win and it's like like last year where it's scrape through where you scrape through and it leaves again more questions and I don't think that cuts it. I think you've got to put your new players out and say go and express yourself. Show us, show us something a little bit different. Get on the ball. Try and create things. And if a couple of the new players can contribute, score, assist. Mm. Nice little... T have you seen him die against Roma where he, you know, the little drag back yeah, and then the shot you just... They're things that excite football fans. We mm. still want to be excited. We live in an era of all... of tactics and, and, and pressing and all those little things that we grew up with football, loving have been sort of taken out of... taken out for us. Not for some teams, but for us. And I think we just want to see... We just want to see some good stuff. And I think new players provide that because it's fresh and it's different. Well, you want people who get you off the seat and die and Jay, however you want to say his name, um, get you off your seat. Mm. He did against Roma anyway, didn't he? He went on a couple of great little runs. We saw against Spurs, I think, you know, 60% of his dribbles he completed. One on a players, that's mm. what we want to see. Now I want to see from him a little bit of end product, whether that's a creating a goal or scoring a goal. Lindstrom looks really clever footballer, good yeah. movements, lovely balance about him. You know, can he create something? And Everton have got to go and put a marker down. I've been disrespectful to Doncaster, but the three leagues below Everton. So Everton have got to go mm. out and put that marker down. Three or four nil win, something like that. Really make people leave in Goodison Park on Tuesday night think. Good performance, that good mm. result. You know, and now, little boost in time for the Bournemouth game at the weekend. Like you said, if it, it ends up and Everton scraped through like one nil or two one, and it's been a it's been a battle. You're gonna feel like, oh my god, we're making everything difficult. And again, I'm not being disrespectful to Doncaster because who's to say they? You know, you can't rule out them turning up and winning two one because it's football. It's we've mm. seen it before. We've seen it happen. It's happened to Everton, but we've seen it happen to other clubs. But I think even the most confident Doncaster fan would still think. It's a tough, that's a yeah. hard game for us. And they're, they're undoubtedly, their sort of first thing is trying to be in the playoffs, trying to get promotion. They've had, you know, they've won two and lost one, I think, in the league so far. So I think they're in the top six in League Two. 
I don't know ultimately whether their aspirations are automatic promotion, but it should mm. be. Should be. They've been hired in League Two before, so why wouldn't it be? And they've had a good start. Great run last season, just missed out. So they'll be looking their first thing will be promotion for them. Yeah. So this might be it. They might rest a few players, give some squad players again yeah. for Everton. We've got to go out and put the market down. Billy Sharp will fancy it, won't he? Oh, Billy Sharp fancies everything. You know, eh? former LA Galaxy. Former LA Galaxy star. 15, 15 um, you know, club Billy Sharp. Loves a battle. Loves a goal as well. Um, of course he'll fancy it. Why mm. wouldn't you? Big stage. Isn't it? You're on League Two, and then all of a sudden you're back in the big, the big stage. Whether or not they will, um, they'll play him or not, I don't know. We'll see. Mm-hmm. But we, are, it's all about us. It's all about us. Do you think? Do you think the manager might start Harrison Armstrong? Considering no, no I mean he's had pre-season. Mm-hmm. Come on at the weekend, which was interesting because the manager last season had lots of young players on the bench and didn't really. Wasn't really tempted into I anything. Thought but... good enough, might he? No, I know I'm saying, hmm. but does that suggest that he does think this kid I is think good he enough? Got, uh, again, and therefore, why wouldn't you start? We then? were told, weren't we, at the end of the last season, March last season, he was the he was one who they thought it was like he was one they thought would have a good chance, and the managers took that on. He's been involved all pre season. Um, I just don't, I don't think he'll start. It could be wrong. Yeah, yeah. Could be, I think he'll definitely get on. I think, and I think he'll definitely get if he doesn't start. I think he'll definitely get his longest minutes. I wouldn't be hard, would it? Because he's only come yeah. on for whatever it was at the weekend. Ten. I think he'll be on for 25 minutes or so at least if he doesn't start. Because I think the manager does see something in him. I think he moves around the pitch really well. He's good on the ball. And about time we had a, a, a red who's a good footballer playing for us. So get him in. He's a local lad. He'll want to do well. So yeah, get, get him in. I mean, that's, that, I wouldn't be against starting him. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Just, I just wonder and think if he's going to start Dixon and he's going to start Lindstrom and then Jai and O'Brien, then you put Armstrong in, you're making five changes. We don't know whether Begovic will start. Do but we shouldn't get... we be making five changes? Yeah, but we've done this before and come short. No, and I get that, but if they come short and they do come short, then I just look, you know. You... Would you play him? I would, yeah. So where would you play him? I'd drop a just around a gay. Okay. All right, but he might do that, might I'm he? just thinking that. He might do that. I'm just thinking that for me in, in terms of like the bigger picture. Mm. You want to you want to you want to give people a chance. You want to see what you've got. Mm. Premier League game on on Saturday that you want you know you want to just again a gay for. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. If you're saying, I just think he he's more likely to play like Dwight McNeil in there or Jack Har- eh, sorry or Abdelai Decore in there mm. rather than I, I, yeah, I don't yeah. think Arnold will play. Yeah, Incidentally, yeah. I think he will be sub. But I think he's more likely to use one of them in there. Yeah, possibly. Um, but I wouldn't be against it because the lad looks like he's a good footballer. And think, don't forget for the manager, it's a chance to, it's a chance to put a take it just a touch of heat off. Yeah, of course. If Everton were to get beat by Doncaster, yeah, of course, yeah, he's under huge pressure already going into a Bournemouth game. I think if it was me, I'd be thinking, let's get you know if we can, mm. the old if we could be three 0 up at half time yeah. type thing. You know, and then you bring Armstrong on for the second half. I get that. I'd love to see him start because I think, I think the fans would be right behind it. Uh, they, you know, they always want a, a lad to come through and play. I wouldn't be against it at all, but I just think he's more likely. I think to play at the core in there. I, I just think it's 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 a bit it's like scary, isn't it? The way we way, like if you were like some other teams, you you're actively pushing players. To play in these games, he, Pep, I, I'm saying it cautiously. He he might be. No, playing. no, I'm just they saying might, the fact I'm he just, brought him on the top. I'm saying for the whole thing, though, isn't it? Is like you look at you look at teams, obviously, who higher up the table, who bed their players in in this competition, and then when if and when they need them, we saw a team not too far away won this trophy last season by doing by doing that by having those kids bedded in, and then when they needed them in that around that time. He played play. them and they won and they and they won the, the thing. I think the biggest indicator. We're asking for two. No, but I think the biggest indicator. I think he might. The yeah. more I think about it, he might be right. He might start them simply because a lot of time either put one on in like the you know we're playing five additional minutes and then he bring one on to go. Oh yeah, yeah, we've uh, yeah we do bring young players on. Mm. No Armstrong come on late, but at least he put him on, didn't he? Yeah. To give him his debut, so maybe he is thinking we will start him. 
uh, on Tuesday night with the with the sort of comfort blankets of the home crowd being behind them and all that. I'm just saying, going on what he's done so far, Sean Dykes, while he's been here, he's tended to be cautious first and then go the other way. Bring them on. It'd be, it'd be lovely, wouldn't it, to be on the way the match and the team comes out and Dixon's playing who we think he should and Harrison Armstrong starts, makes his first start. That'd be great because even clubs further down the league, mate, you know, you watch when like Southampton playing things like that, all of those players, they'll be playing some of their young lads who, who, who won't be playing in the league and stuff, they'll be giving them games. So um, I just wonder if he'll just want the insurance of going, well, I know what I'm getting off the core, I know what I'm getting off him and him and him, and we're already mm. making a couple of changes. But listen, it'd be lovely if Armstrong starts, absolutely. Well, he played, he played like, played 80 minutes in the EFL trophy last week mm. against Tramia. Mm. And, you know, I'm not sure that was Tramia's first team. It was a mix, wasn't it? Yeah. So, but that's what sort of strikes me is if you can play 80 minutes against in that game, mm -hmm. then why can't you play? And why can't you play them? That's what I mean. It's like he to me, it's like Coventry played them at Preston. They're the, they're the, it's it, they're the same division. Mm -hmm. So just be, yeah, okay, these might take it more seriously because the, an EFL trophy to an F Cup, it's a big, it's still a big thing. But I just think, well, you might as well just play. But he might do. Mm. He might, oh, no. They may well do. It. Oh. It's, it's, I'm just saying, just going on what's gone before. Yeah. That's all. But he may well play because yeah. he did. He used them at Coventry. Come on, earlier Preston, didn't he? he um, Roma. He brought him on the pitch yeah, against yeah. Roma. So the manager obviously likes what he does. He likes what he's got. Otherwise, he wouldn't be entertaining. Mm. Other lads haven't haven't been back. Have and they? he might play him. He might play. Might not play. But he might play him and then go. Right. I like the look of you. I've got James Garner coming back. Mm. So I'm going to get you this low. We're going to try and get you this low. Mm -hmm. and Absolutely. Or he might say, you know what, mate? You are one of our nine subs because we look like we can. you can offer us something mm -hmm. in this first part of the season. So it'd be lovely to see it because it would be... That's what we want. We yeah. want to see lads who have actually genuinely got a chance of making it yeah. um, into our first team pool because we just we haven't done anywhere near enough of this. No. There's been nobody. Anthony Gordon was the last real one who come through and was in our team, you know, and how, mm. how many of them have there been? Few and far between. Yeah. You know, what's like Ross Barkley coming on for Villa last night, you know, he's, he was one before Gordon. Really, if you're looking at players who come in and stay yeah. then we've done this, we had, don't forget, do you want to go back 15 years ago? We had Tony Everton, Leon Osman, who come yeah, through, yeah. who were part of our squad for years, mm. whether people thought they were good they enough were or they the weren't. Squad. They were part of that squad. Oh, she was a great footballer. Oh, he had a bit of pace. Both captain. He'd have moved. Both captain the team. We're right in there. It's what we want. Jack Rodwell come through. Mm -hmm. We sold him for, for, you know, done it with Gordon, done it with Barkley. You know, the, we want these players to come through. Isn't it funny that Villa had Onana, Luca Dean and Ross Barkley, and yet none of those three players ever played together at Everton? Right. We chased them all. No. Um, but yeah, yeah. No, no, I hope Armstrong does start. Yeah, I think yeah. that'd be a boost for the fans, definitely. Mm -hmm. And um, You'd rather see him than someone and you go, well, I know that, what he can do and then I know what he can do. So I think the manager will mix it up and I think, I believe Everton will win the game. I think. Let's hope so. Positive win. Good night for for everyone to come and, you know, experience maybe good or something for the first time, maybe for the last time. Who knows? Mm -hmm. It would be just be nice to have a little bit of positivity and go and enjoy a game of football. Remember that? Enjoying games of football? 1987 was the last time. No. <laughs> We all, every, if you win, you would enjoy it, yeah. don't you? And that's what it's yeah, about. That's all it's and about. Get it, get that, get the win. Let's get up and running. Mm. Get some business done in the market, even though the manager was very sort of, you know, yeah. playing it down. Fair play. Club have got to do what they can do. Help the manager, give them some more tools to be able to use. Get a win, and then we're ready yeah. for Bournemouth. Then going into what is a big game. Absolutely, absolutely. But not, but obviously respect them. That Doncaster will come and have a good go. And we, yeah. We'll have to earn the right to win the game. Absolutely. Yeah. Let us know your your thoughts in the comments. Are you expecting a win? Who do you think will be in and who do you think will be out? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Make sure to give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want more great videos, join us over on Toffee TV Premiere. The link is in the description. The QR codes come on the screen now. See you later.